Hey, I'm Emily from Get Offset, and today I have a fragile box from Parts Caster Concierge. Uh, so pa Parts Caster Concierge makes uh, bodies primarily for parts casters, uh, typical fender necks, um, can just be slapped on them and you can finish them however you like. So he works with you to get a body design that you want with all the setups that you want for a lot less than a warmer. So I'm just gonna unbox, cause I have some questions from you, for you dear viewers about what you think I should do with this here guitar body. So I'm gonna ask a couple questions. I'm going to expect answers, serious replies only in the comments. And uh, hopefully y'all can help me design a really sweet guitar that I hope is in one piece because FedEx acted like it was a little, well, I don't know. There was some weird stuff with FedEx. Well packed, nice. So I have some parts. So it's gonna be a string through. That's good for sustain. Nice Schaller bridge. Nashville Tunematic Chrome. Oh. Those decisions are easy enough. Oh. I've actually been looking everywhere for one of these. I haven't found them, so I'm gonna have to reach back out and be like, where did you get this? Um, cool. And, ooh, let's see, more things in here. I have a card. You're always supposed to open the card first. Now I just kind of forget to do that. And, ooh, with a pick. One of those picks with a fun little hole in them. That's a very thick pick. All right, it says, Emily, I appreciate your patronage and look forward to seeing where you go with this build. Included is a two-piece R style ash body with an angled S style neck pocket. I've included a black pick guard and green mesh cavity covers. Cool. As well as a Schaller Tunematic Bridge and chrome front rear bar bar barrels. The body has been mostly rough sanded to 220 grit, but will require some more attention before the final finish application. Neck and bridge may require slight sanding reaming for perfect fitment. Well, oh, this kind of smudged a little bit, um, but should be just about right. Cool, cool. Um, oh, it's a valley pick. This is hand carved from a ram's horn in the Pyrenees Mountains of France. That's really cool. It's not vegan. Uh, kind regards, Gary Cooper, AKA Parts Caster Concierge. Thanks, Gary. Um, let's put that back. So this is the black pick guard and the cavity covers that are green mesh. So that's really cool. All right, as the garbage guy goes by. So let's take this out. I feel like it might, I feel like it might be a bad idea to actually take all this out right now and you can't even see what I'm doing so that's got to be interesting. So that's really nice. Green mesh cavity cover. Ooh. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for telling me which one was up. I really would have not known. And then a black pick guard. Nice. That's cool. Beautiful. Let's set you on top of my base amp. And let's get some eyes on my new guitar body. And I am going to figure out how best to get this out of my way. 
great. Ooh, isn't that handsome? All right, so sesame. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna to need to get sanded down just a smidge more. Oh, before finishing. Wow, that's beautiful. I say completely off camera. Oh yeah, that's nice. I have never even given any thought to this body shape, this art style. I guess it's kind of a Gibson thing. I don't know where my knife went. Isn't that, oh, there it is. Um, if you don't have this kind of knife, these are great. It locks. Locking is important for knives. I worked in an office with some very young bro type dude and I was watching him like struggle to like open up and break down a box with like, a pair of scissors. I'm like, you're gonna cut yourself. Get a, get a real knife. So I've seen plenty of people cut themselves on real life, so haven't we all? Sometimes it happens during a live stream and then that's very unsettling. Oh, that is hot. Is that nice? Nice. Look at that work. So then we have the cavity cover. It probably just pops in there really easily. Isn't that nice? the back plate cover as well and uh I forget exactly what it's called but the screw holes are already um set god I forget what that's called but yeah that pops in there whoops that's my bad yep very nice so let's talk about what we're going to do with this. There are a couple of options. It's such a pretty grain that I could uh, stain it or even dye it a certain color. Um, I have before done, um, that was this was on a mahogany body that I did this, sort of a ceruse, I guess you would call it a dog hair finish, where I took um, purple, um, leather dye, uh, dyed the wood purple, and then used a white grain filler to get that dog hair effect. Um, I don't know what, what, how should I paint it? Maybe it's just so, so pretty to paint, especially that right there is really nice. I like that a lot. Um, so first thing I want you to leave a comment, should I paint this? Or should I stain it uh, slash dye it? And if you think I should paint it, what color? Obviously, I, I like pink guitars. That's back there on my tuna tone as well. Obviously, I also like white guitars with black guards. And I know I have a black pick guard for this. So should I do like a white paint? And if I do a white paint or something like that, should I like make it like really thin paint so some of the grain still shows through. I think that would be kind of cool and add the black guard, but it's such a funky body shape. Should I do something a little more exciting than black and white? Should I, you know, make it pink? Should I make it purple? Should I try it? I don't, is this, did you say this was ash? I know it's got a deep grain, so I think I could do like a ceruse lime to slash dog hair kind of finish on this. I think that would be doable. Um, yeah, so that's the first question. 
The second question is what kind of pickups should I put in this? It's obviously rad for humbuckers, but whose humbuckers? Should I return to Lawler? Should I get ask Curtis Lamberton if I can get some Lambertones for this? Should I try a new a new make of pickups? Should I get something that looks like a humbucker but is actually a single coil? Huh? So that's my second question. The third question is what should huh, I think I have an electro socket so I'm gonna probably put that in there um should I do anything fun with the wiring I have four holes for knobs so I would um default to each pickup having its own uh tone and volume controls but should I talk to Sean at Gun Street Wiring about maybe doing like a, a dog-eared wiring? Like a black dog kind of a situation like I did for the Starcaster? Should I see if he can do something different? Um, questions. Questions that deserve answers. And uh, as far as the neck goes, I think that whether it's maple or some approximation of rosewood would depend upon... Um, the color I end up going, but maple neck versus rosewood neck. It's a setup for a strat kind of style um, neck, and I have a couple of those laying around. I also have a couple of Telecaster necks laying around, and I think those would fit. So, should it be like a Telly or a strat headstock, or should I try and probably fail and cuss a lot while I'm trying to make my own? So yeah, those are the big questions that I have. If you have opinions, I am actually asking for your unsolicited advice right now. You're, you're probably never going to get that again from me. So yeah, what color should I do? Should I stain it? Should I paint it? Should I dye it? Uh, should I try to do something interesting with the paint? Should I put normal humbuckers in here? Or should I do something a little bit more wild and creative and see see what I can get? Um, should I do any wiring fun or should I keep it simple? And uh, what kind of neck should I put on it? So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for understanding. Let me know what you think I should do with this build in the comments below. Uh, until next time, I'm Emily. Goodbye.